Hi, I'm Joe Wachowski. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a ratchet strap, and that's coming up next. Okay, first thing you want to do is when you get it out of the box, is you want to look for on the sprocket as it's facing toward you. Okay, if you're standing in front of it. This is the best way I can ex explain it so you don't understand. Is make sure that the slot is facing toward you. Okay, with the ratchet also the handle part not the release facing toward you. So the release should be facing away from you. Okay. What you do, okay, the reason why I'm showing you again is you don't want to make the mistake of going under. Okay, the reason for that being if you go under, Remember, you're going to be pulling down tight on your load. Now you can't get you can't get to the back strap. You're going to be pulling everything on an angle. You're not going to get it be able to tighten it enough. And when you go to ratchet it closed, it's going to be very difficult to release. Okay, so make sure you go through the top. All right, do this again. Don't go under. Go through the top where the handle is. Top. Now when you pull tight, you're going to be pulling tight down on your load, you have the part here where you can tighten the strap. Okay. Release the lock. Now you can start cranking. And it starts to tighten once the two pieces cinch together in the loop. And that's what keeps it tied down. Once that's together, I only have a little bit going, a little bit touching. That's when you get your, that's when it starts to tie down. Keeps it from releasing. Now, you want to make sure whatever load you're tightening down, you want to get this pretty close to where you need it. You don't want to over uh, wrap the spool. The more you wrap onto the spool, the more it's going to bind up on the locking mechanism and it'll be that much more difficult to release if you get too much on the spool. Now if you can't get it to release, you have too much on, you can't get it to release, you pull on this locking device and here in this lock as well and that will help you release the strap. Now if you have a situation where you don't have a long enough uh, strap to tie your load down, but you have multiple ratchet straps. On each end, there's a hook. Okay, if the now some ratchet straps do not have hooks. Um, you can buy them without hooks. I prefer to buy them with hooks um, for the simple fact that tying a knot on. If you tie this in a knot, you don't want to tie this in a knot to tie your load down. If you tie this in a knot to tie your load, you're going to cinch that knot so tight you're never going to get it loose. You're going to have to cut it. I prefer the hooks on the back. There may be a situation where you don't need hooks, where you would wrap it through and then wrap it through itself in a circle after coming through here, and that you would tie down with. But if you have a situation where you need a longer ratchet and you have multiple ratchets, the way I tie them together, okay, this would be the hook from one and the other, is I take the hook, both hooks, you know, and the other end is already hooked to whatever you're trying to tie it down to. You attach them together by sticking the hooks through themselves and creating a link. You don't have to tie a knot, and that's not going to come apart. Okay? Take the hooks, run them through themselves, through the two eyelets. And there's how you link. That's how you link two ratchet straps together. Okay, another way to use the ratchet strap. If you don't have a hook 
or something to hook it to. Like for instance, here, this hook doesn't fit around this. Okay, all you have to do is tuck it under whatever you're going to use, wrap it and pull it through, and now, now you've got something to hook it to and tie, tie what you need to tie down. And that you can use the same on the other side. So I don't have, it's raining outside, so I don't have a load to tie down. So I'm going to show you in this garage door here. I'm just going to hook it here. Okay. Now here's the part that I pulled through. We're going to tighten it down. Close, you don't want to get carried away. You want to have some room for tightening. Then you're going to release this, press the release so it'll start ratcheting, okay? And now when you ratchet it closed, it's going to wrap itself within itself, and that's what's going to cause the tension for it to not release. And I think that's where people are getting, you know, getting worried. Now there's no loop that you push it through. Once it touches itself and wraps together, that's what holds it together. And then you just tighten it down okay once you tighten it down you just tack it down lower the lever and that's it now to release it you hit the lever the release lever pull it back while holding the release lever and it will release the tie down do it again there, you pulled that through, and now it'll start wrapping. There, once it's once it grabs each other, that's it. Now this is not something I can tie down. It's not going to have any give. Whatever you're tying down is going to have a little give, and you're actually going to be able to wrap this a lot more. So I lift this back, hold the release, and there it pops loose. All right, that's about all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to ideas, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. Also, visit and like me on Facebook.